How's it going, everybody? Doing a request here today. It's eating some grapes. I will be rambling as well. Uh, that wasn't part of the request, but I'll be just rambling while I'm eating the grapes. I'm not just going to straight eat the grapes and with no talking, unless you, everybody prefers the no talking videos. I don't know, but pick these grapes up uh, earlier today. This will be going up Sunday. Um, but I will be uh, filming it Saturday. So. I haven't had grapes in a little bit. I was like, oh, I saw the eating grapes request, and I was like, you know what? It's a nice, healthier thing to eat as opposed to when I'm eating uh, Pringles and ice cream and all this other bad stuff. here. say a little big it's not tight but I feel like it's a little on the side it's a little I don't know maybe it's gotta be worn in it almost look, it looks like a train conductor's hat that's a big grate Notice that mark there. I can't tell it's a scratch or not. <laughs> I may have scratched my face. Chiefs won the Super Bowl. One that happened last week. Oh wait. Yeah. Last Sunday. Did not watch the game. I kept I looked at the score at the half. I think the Eagles were up ten and then I looked I woke up at like two in the morning to go to the bathroom. final score Chiefs pick up their second in when they win that first one 20 so the second in four years I mean they gone to three in four years pretty impressive um, kind of went from Pats to them the Chiefs will be, I mean, the, um, both those teams will be competing again, I would think, next year for the Super Bowl again. Um, Denver got Sean Payton as a coach. They had to give up the first round pick they had traded Chubb for, Brandon Chubb. And they had lost that first round pick when they traded for Wilson. But kind of excited what Sean Payton brings to the table. He's obviously. 
obviously a good coach. I think they, I don't know if they've gotten him already. Are they were looking to try to get Rex Ryan as defensive coordinator. I mean, he hasn't played a uh, coach in a while, so I don't know, you know, how he'll do. But I'm pretty sure he was. That one's a little marked up. I'm pretty sure he was a Saints defensive coordinator last. That was the last thing he did, right? Coached the Jets for a little bit. I don't know who he was a defensive coordinator for before that. His brother was the coordinator for the Cowboys, right? I forget his name. And they're both Buddy Ryan's kids. What was his brother's name? I don't know. Anyway. It was kind of funny. I guess um, the Russell Wilson like had his personal kind of quarterback is type co co coach following around. I think he was a former player, maybe in the NFL. I can't remember, but he'd like come into the meetings and stuff. And I guess they were interviewing Sean Payton after he got the job. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, he came around to the things. He's like, oh yeah. He's like, that's not gonna happen now. Champagne's more of a no, no kind of nonsense kind of guy. He should be able to utilize Russell Wilson. In my opinion, I don't think Russell Wilson is done. I think last year was kind of a fluke, so to speak. I hope it was. <laughs> um, we'll find out. Eric Bieniemy got, uh, I think he's getting the commander's job. Um, and he's been, I mean, I don't know why he, it took a little too long for him to get a job for sure, but he was the Chiefs offensive coordinator for a little bit. I think he was in, maybe he was at the Chargers before that. I know he played for the Chargers. Eric, Eric sleeping with Bieniemy, as Chris Berman used to call him. His nicknames used to give people. Supreme Cortez Kennedy, Warren Full Moon, Steve Forever Young. It was pretty much just like, movie type things. Um, who is another one? What's another one he did? Oh, I'm trying to think of some more he had. remember him. Um, maybe it was like Curtis, my favorite Martin. I don't know. Is that one? I remember. And I think it was one of the Maddens. It was definitely one of the Maddens on the Super Nintendo. It's like Madden 96. I don't know if they did this on the Genesis one because I did not have that Madden for the Genesis. But there'd be banners in the background. Like in the ends of Axie End Zone. I'd be like Seahawks, Sea Win, Eagle Soar, Elway or the Highway. Troy will put the ache on you. That was Troy Aikman. <clears throat> I think picture, pitches and catches reported. Spring training in baseball. I think that was the other day. Maybe it's like the 12th or something in February. So baseball is starting, uh, starting up. I know they got the World Baseball Classic coming up soon as well. Um, basketball is a bunch of trades. Uh, Durant got traded and Kyrie Irving got traded to Dallas. That was a weird one because I don't know why this was the way it was. I mean, one of you can tell me. Um, they traded a couple of players and picks. And they're getting a first-round pick in, like, 2029, which I thought was weird because I've never seen it. You'll always see it, like, what's the 2023? So you would see, like, 
25, maybe 26 first round pick. A 29 is crazy. How did this work? Did they think, I'm trying to think, like, I was telling my friend, I was like, maybe they were like, well, Dallas is going to be a playoff team for a bit. Hopefully by 2029 they suck and that pick won't be good. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, but they tur- they got some, a bunch of picks for Durant, so, I mean, I honestly, it wasn't going to work. And well, they were playing pretty good this year, and then Durant got hurt with the Nets, but they got some good players back in, in, the, in the Irving trade, and I think they got mostly picks in the other one, but it wasn't going to work, you know. It's crazy to think, what has Durant been on, like, four teams now? Irving as well, right? That's his fourth team. He's on the Celtics, Cavs, Nets, and now Dallas. Is he on the fifth team? It's funny, like back in the day, like superstars wouldn't be on like four, five, six teams by the end of their careers. It's kind of weird. Two, maybe three, depending. And it was usually by the end that would go to a different team. Maybe they pop up. Like, I know Scotty Pippen was on the Bulls, and then he went to Portland for a little bit, and then he was on Houston. But like I said, even the Portland one at that point, he was, you know, I'd already been in the well, You know what? He was probably only the league. I went to Portland. It was probably only like his 11th or 12th year in the league. He was still good. Clyde Drexler was only on two teams. Jordan ended up on the Wizards. <laughs> After he retired that second time. But he was uh, he was still good on the Wizards. It wasn't what he was, but he was still pretty damn good. I know Carl Malone was on the Lakers briefly at the end of his career. Now John Stockton only played for the Jazz. Patrick Ewing, oh, he, did he end? He ended up on somebody else, didn't he? Was he on the Magic briefly, or did he like coach the Magic at some point? Was he like an assistant? Obviously, Kobe was only a Laker. Um, i trying to think of some other players from, like, back in the more. Kobe was more. Even Tim Duncan obviously played his whole career on the Spurs. David Robinson was only on the Spurs, too. Larry Bird was only the Celtics. Magic only the. Lakers, you know, honestly, Isaiah Thomas, I think, was only on the Pistons. Shaq was on, no, no, actually, no, Shaq was on, like, four, no, Shaq was on, like, five teams, what's name? Magic Lakers, Heat, Celtics, and Suns, and wasn't he on the Cavs, too, for a little bit? That guy was insane in his prime. Um, I remember because Portland would lose into the playoffs to like him every year. The most heartbreaking one was the moment they came back down 3 1 in the conference finals and blew like a 15 point lead in the fourth quarter, game seven. But after that, they'd play the Lakers in like the first round. Like, Lakers were always like the one or two seed. Portland would be getting in like seven or eight. And it, Shaq was like unstoppable back then. You just throw it to him in the paint. It was like he just turned around and dunked. Nobody was stopping him. He almost got, he almost was at a disadvantage, as crazy as it sounds, because he was so strong and big that he would just like be like, mm, like a little tap of his shoulder and someone would go flying and be getting fouls called on him. But he was dominant. He could move quick too, man. He was still good on the heat as well. Then he kind of fell off. And now it's funny. You look at the league now, and a guy like Shaq would almost be, I don't want to say useless, but like you need to be able to shoot threes. It's such a different league now. <clears throat> but yeah. I guess it was more of a sports ramble. 
There's a bunch of trades in hockey, too. I think uh, Ryan O'Reilly just got traded to the Maple Leafs. Obviously, the Islanders did the Horvat trade. They're playing okay, but they only got two points out of three games with the Canucks, Canadians, and Senators, which they needed to be winning. Horvat actually signed a deal, too, with the Islanders, which is kind of nice to see. Like an eight-year deal or something. He's been doing all right with them so far. Um, they're they're going to fight for playoffs about the rest of the year. I don't know if they're going to get in or not, though. <clears throat> Uh, there's some other trades. The Rangers got Tarasenko. Actually, I can't remember any other trades other than those ones. I don't know when the deadline is, if it passed or not. I think NBA All-Star Weekend is this weekend. Portland's just bouncing back and forth. They're like a game or two. They're going to end up... Getting into that stupid play and they have where like the seven, eight, nine, and ten play each other to get the seven and eight seed. It's set up to where it's harder for the nine and ten to get in because I think you have to win two games. The seven and eight, I think I think it's a guarantee actually that um Oh crap, this is gonna go off in a minute. I didn't realize my battery wasn't charged. But uh the seven the seven and eight play each other. I think, and then that winner immediately gets in, and then the 9-10 play each other, but then the, the winner of that has to play the, that 8th seed or something. I don't know. Anyway, though. Let me turn this off now before this goes off. But. I was just eating a grapes request, and I rambled about sports there a bit. Uh, thanks for checking this out. And... Have a good day.